types are one as per the position of the body, but other is how it looks like. So the chronic plaque psoriasis is the commonest. You can see a red scaly plaque on the body, generally on the bony prominences. That is the commonest type, almost 80% of the people. Then the psoriasis of nail, you know, you can just get involvement of nail with uh, something like a dirt under the nail, which is known as nail psoriasis. And then there is a gutted psoriasis, something like a tear-shaped drop lesions or bumps on the body. And some rare varieties like inverse or flexural psoriasis, psoriasis involving only flexures like armpits and groins, and a pustular psoriasis, psoriasis which can be seen only as a pus filled region of the body and not as a scaly plaques. And the most severe variety is erythrodermic variety where the whole body is involved, and that is uh, known as erythroderma. So these are the common types, and important here is a psoriatic arthritis. Patient can have a nail psoriasis and a psoriatic arthritis joint involvement and they can get painful joints. So these are things which the patient presents. And one thing, a scalp psoriasis, which is often taken as a dandruff. Patient thinks it's a dandruff and it keep on trying. And if you see closely, then you can see a red scaly plaque in the scalp, which also needs treatment. Uh, so again, anything which is a dandruff, not responding to treatment, please think that it could be a sebo psoriasis or psoriasis. So these are the types of psoriasis.